Transit agencies are asking Congress for more money. It's time for another episode of Bells and Whistles. Hello everyone, Bill Wilson, Editor-in-Chief of Railway Track and Structures Magazine, with the top news stories we were following the week ending May 15th. Number 4. New Jersey Transit has awarded a contract worth just over $247 million to George Harms Construction Company for the first of three construction phases of the Raritan River Bridge Replacement Project on the electrified North Jersey coastline. The new Raritan River Bridge will be a lift span. The bridge project is part of NJ Transit's Resilience Program, which was initiated following Superstorm Sandy in 2012. Number three. Workers began the fourth of a six-part stabilization effort along the cliffs of Del Mar on May 11th. The San Diego Association of Governments uses a track that runs along the cliffs daily and is handling the strengthening work. The fourth stage involves replacing part of a concrete stormwater channel, tending to other drainage structures, and installing more steel columns. Phase four is already seeing a setback, as it appears the steel I-beams needed are on back order. Number two. The U.S. DOT's Federal Railroad Administration released a quarterly status update on railroads' progress toward fully implementing positive train control. As of March, PTC systems were in the demonstration or operation phase on 98% of the Class 1 tracks. Commuter railroads are a little bit behind that pace. Only 63.2% of all commuter route miles were PTC governed as of March 31st. Number 1. Transit officials are asking the federal government to make sure to include at least $33 billion for public transportation in the next federal stimulus bill. The House of Representatives passed its CARES Act on May 15th, but there is no indication the Republican-controlled Senate is going to put together a bill anytime soon. The Metropolitan Transportation Authority and NJ Transit both want nearly $4 billion in stimulus money. 